All right, should be back. <clears throat> so I've organized everything IRL. Still getting over the fact that my five boxes are absolute jank. So we're hoping that we get some better RNG IRL. Oh, sorry, uh, online. Let's test this. Yep, that seems to be working. Let me bump up my Facebook thing as well. To say that I'm once again live. Mm -mm. All righty. Hello? Hi. Uh, <clears throat> ah, you're here. I am here. You sound ill as well. I'm... I feel alright, but I'm not going to stay around for too long, I don't think. Yeah. I want to try and recover before this weekend. Mm-hmm. Good shout. That's 180 booster packets, Joe. Yeah. How many are sent in my way? All 180? No. Oh. Grams, okay, that's awkward. Well, seeing as though I did absolutely abysmal yeah, that's IRL, so. I have no faith that these 180 will be any better. <clears throat> Sevi Devi, thank you for the congratulations, it's kind of you. I'm just going to jump straight in, because we have so many, there's no point in me just waiting. It's going to take about an hour anyway. Yeah. So you played Dominion on the way back, me to Mal, oh, yeah? and... Uh, Luke, it took me like one game to know what the hell was happening where Tamal absolutely dominated us. Yeah, was that on the ferry? But, yeah, but after that, like as soon as I saw pretty much what he did, I was like, I understand now. I understand what's gone wrong here. Yeah. And but at the same time, I can see how every single game is completely different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've told him to bring it along this weekend. Nice, nice. Because it was a. Yeah, I think I've only ever played it once, but it was. It was really fun. His... Oh, I just missed my bin. <laughs> Crumbs. Because oh. Slay the Spire is a deck building game. Uh -huh. Like, I, I wasn't very good at the start. At the start, I straight up just didn't use any of my Slay the Spire knowledge at all, which was so <laughs> dumb of me. Yeah. But as soon as, soon as I saw what Tom I was doing, I was like, he's doing the exact thing I do in Slay the Spire. So I think now... Witnessing that, I'll have a bit. I'll have a better idea as to how to find a win condition because <laughs> the win condition I had was absolute crumb. <laughs> AKD, how's it going? Am I going to be doing a tournament report today? Uh, I don't know. My list is on limitless now. If you want to have a quick peek at it, but I don't know how many people actually care when it's uh, a tournament that's been and gone now. And it's all I think about, it's worth. All about the I think it's set. worth talking about. I think you should. Do a brief rundown. Like, maybe now. Do it now. Like, not now. Let people get in here, I guess. But maybe once you're I opening packs. packs. Oh, yeah. Maybe during packs. Yeah, that's fine. Like, because everyone knows what the cards are what cards are in the set now. So, whilst you're doing this menial task of. Yeah, that's fine. Opening boosters. What's, what's first on the radar for you? Deck wise, Testing yeah. Deck pull. I mean, I thought I'd have access to a lot of decks after opening five boxes, but yeah, we'll see. DJ, how's it going? What's that ability called? Is it Floral Path to the Sky? What was that? I'm I'm way beyond it now. What I think it was Skip Loom. Oh, I can I can I've got the stuff next to me. Floral Path to the Sky. What a name. Um, obviously, it's not going to be in this battle. Yeah, for Floral Path to the Sky. Dope. 
The tournament pool will actually be quite quick because I faced a lot of the same matchups. <laughs> that's what that's what Tamal said to me this morning. He was like, "Oh, you need a tournament report for me, aren't you?" Well, my day two was buzz rock, buzz rock, buzz rock, <laughs> buzz rock, buzz rock. <laughs> <coughs> The event was, I think it was one of the most um, heavily populated, I don't know how to put this, the highest percentage of play that any like one or two decks had. Like Mali and Buzzwalk were legitimately like 30% each, I would say at least. Do you think? Really? Yeah. Interesting. See, I only, for me, I, was doing, for sure. I was doing Crumb all day, but I, I faced one... Zoroark, one Malamar, no Buzzrock all day. Really? Yeah. I know Luke faced no Mali as well either day one. Maybe maybe it's just my own impression. I felt they were, I, I felt Mali was the most popular deck in the room for sure, but yeah. I didn't think it was. Maybe. In I, I I I actually thought more like there was a diverse meta than anything. Yeah. I saw a lot random of random stuff. That, there was a lot of one and two percenters, I imagine. Yeah. Um. Like more, uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of one and two percenters in a lot of scenarios anyway. But like a lot more, there was a fair, like a handful of Magna Zones, a handful of Meta Grosses, and it, they were like from top tables down to the bottom tables as well. There was a Meta Gross on like table three on round six or seven. Yeah. Um, there's a Sol Glow that made day two. You know, it felt like I know what you're saying about there being a lot of Malamar because there definitely was a lot of Malamar. If I wasn't playing yeah. against one, I was at least next to one like every round. <laughs> Yeah, the only the only, there was one round where there was Mallys everywhere, and there was one round where e literally everyone around me was just saying strong charge. <laughs> and other, other than that, it, it felt pretty diverse. Oh, Jack, I've got a loose. I mean, I can trade you. Oh, sweet. I was I was watching the box openings earlier on while I was cooking, and I managed to managed to catch the loose. I mean, comment. <laughs> it goes straight in my binder. <laughs> I only pulled one ditto in five boxes as well, so I can't trade you one of those. Oh, I pulled one from that. Oh, yeah, you did. You're right. Uh, that Raichu deck. Oh, by the way, guys, I actually completed my forfeit this weekend, finally. Da, 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 da. And I got a legitimate win with the deck. That's the real report you guys want to hear, isn't it? What was my final T-Tar count? I got two half-art T-Tars and one full-art T-Tar. Crumbs. <laughs> How many Mimba <movie> Qs? <coughs> uh, one. That's not too bad. Luke was saying last night how he thinks the card's actually good. That's ridiculous. Hey, first Persephalon. Nice. One Nagana out of five boxes is absolutely absurd. Yeah. Is it a hollow? Yep. Four Guardies, though. Yeah, but that's not going to. That's, that's not a Naganada. No. You want to hear Jack's report more than Joe's? I can run down. <laughs> I can run down quickly right now. Go for what it. I can remember. That's Round one, I was actually against teammate Stephen Mao. Yeah. Um, and he so so it was me and Scott that had to play the deck, and we had a little um side not bet but side competition of whoever got the whoever got the most reads of cards won. Um, and he got Seb one round who had built the deck with us so he knew what everything did and he got by one round so I pretty much stomped that uh, part of things because I actually played five rounds whereas he only really played three um, but yeah so yeah my round one was against Stephen Mao who is of course a CCG member um, and yeah his his reactions were the best out of everyone's <laughs> Because uh, he was like, what, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I thought you were on a team for a reason, so I had to explain that I really wasn't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was easily my most fun game of the day. <laughs> Round two was... Oh, what was round two again? It's round two was another Zorro. He was playing Zorro Rock. Round two was another Zorro. Um... <clears throat> Cheers, Tubbs. Evening, mate. I can't remember. I can't like. I mean, the, the game's just so unmemorable. It's not. You faced a Zoro Garb at some point, right? Oh yeah. The, so then, yeah, my round three was against a Zoro Garb who only played Special Energy, but I chose not to play Zerkatry GX. 
if I played Zerkatry GX, I think I um, would have potentially had a win con. I actually thought I was going to win at one point because um, he went down to one card in deck. And I was like, this guy's just trading. He's just trade, 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 trade. Mm -hmm. uh, but he had one more Cynthia than I was expecting. Which is sad. I've never been more sad to see a hand go into a deck. I was like, no, I thought I'd won. I thought I found a win condition. But hey, um, no win conditions in this deck at all. <laughs> Round four was against, I think it was a Vika Ray or a Malamar or something, who was one of the cockiest people I've ever played against. I don't know why, because I was playing absolute garbage. He smashed me and was like, well, at least you tried to do something unique. I was like, mate, this isn't a choice. This, this is... This is a forfeit. <laughs> so I was absolutely fuming at that because he he was essentially saying I tried to do something unique but I shouldn't, which is completely wrong because you should try and do things unique. And also, I wasn't trying to do anything unique. I was trying to be a great guy and complete my forfeit. But hey ho. Mm. So at this point I'm zero four mm. and I'm expecting to go zero five, uh, which is fine. You know I wasn't expecting to do well. Um, but around five. Get paired up against uh, a UK player. I recognise him, but I can't remember his name. And he turns over, turns over Zerua, and I'm like, okay, another another, another standard deck. This is going to be difficult. Uh, and then he turns over in a Lowland Diglett, and I'm like, okay, so this is this is a meme off essentially. It's an absolute meme off. Um, and of course, lightning stuff is resistant to metal stuff. And Raichu GX has 210 HP. Yes, it does. So it has 230 HP, which means they just need to discard 8 energy from their hand with an Alolan Dog Trio to one-shot it. And they need to do that three times, essentially. Um, I did blow up with my Electro GX, so he needed to do it two times, but <laughs> me blowing up with my Electro GX meant I was able to take down um, something he was hitting me with. And I actually ended up winning that matchup. So I went 1-4 and four with the meme deck. Uh, I out-memed um, an Alolan Dug Trio Zoroark deck. Yeah. And overall, despite coming last on the standings, I'd say I finished higher than Scott because Scott got a bye, whereas I actually legally took all six prizes. So I think, personally, I I performed best with the meme deck this weekend. Well done. Um, what I've learned... There, there's, there's three things... There's three things I've learned. Oh, yeah. One, one Tapu Koko, I think, is a really, really good card. Yes. Um, Tapu Koko, in one of my Zoro matches, took four prizes for me. It was it was crazy. So Tapu Koko is a good card. Two, um, Electrode is even worse than I thought. <laughs> Absolute garbage. Yeah. And three, I'm never giving anyone bad cards in a draft again. Yeah. Because I don't trust myself that I won't lose the draft. So whoever's do it, whoever's, well, whenever we're drafting, which should probably be next week, next yes. day on Monday, right? I'm giving them two Zoroark GXs. So genius. whatever happens, they can at least do something. Absolutely genius. Um, that's not true. I've already, I've already worked out the cards I want. Oh yes, we've got two nine tails. Yes. Oh, that's all you need. Poggers. It's a 250 card set or something. Crud. <clears throat> ah, we have the Ditto. And we have three Mag Cargo GX now to play with as well. So we have three Zero Aura, th three Mag Cargo, and two, uh, two Nine Tails. Perfect. We can play a lot of decks now. I want one Sceptile so I can play a load of eggs. Yeah. Two more Bicephalon. And a couple more of the Gander Nails. I genuinely yeah. think you have everything then. I haven't pulled any, um,. Jump bluffs yet? Oh, true. Ooh, there's a nagger, nice. Mind you, they they're, they're the things you want to not pull rather than GXs. Two Zora, two Lunar Am I going to build my cargo, my cargo IRL? I think it's like the only thing I can build IRL. <laughs> <coughs> um, are we testing this weekend or are we cubing? Well, I'll bring some Lost Under stuff. I'm sure Luke will want to test. Yeah, but so do I, I obviously. Oh, that's a shame, because I want to I cube all weekend. Well, I will definitely cube whenever it's on offer, so... Yeah. Well, I was saying to Ross earlier on, I feel like there's going to be about three different pods, like a Dominion pod, an actual testing pod, and a cube pod. How many of us are there? So many... 
so many people coming now. Is there's there? like there's seven people coming. That's not enough for three pods of anything. No, that's true. Yeet. Oh, another mimic here. Get in. These packs are so much better. Yeah, of course. I mean, they literally could not be worse. <coughs> so. I've done better with this 80 than I did with the 180 that I had IRL already. But what are you going to do, huh? These things happen. We're oozing mimic UGXs. Oozing. Oh, that's the other thing I've decided. I'm not staying with anyone but Luke Williams ever again. <laughs> Looking for Mareeps. Oh, boy. <gasps> oh. oh. Stroke its little head. Yes. With a ditto as well. What a pack. It's all going to be okay, lads. Oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's genuinely beautiful. I was so happy I pulled a ditto this weekend. He just looks ready for a fight, doesn't he? Flip. He's so ready for a fight. So, Tamal from his packs this weekend is mm -hmm. pulled full Celebi. Oh, wow. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Two in one box today. Yeah, I've had two in a box today. That's crazy. Still revising, Sean. Feels bad, man. Ah, oh, Sean, that's what I should be doing. Ah. Oh, guys. Instead, I'm going to bed. Just about to throw some hands. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that panic. See, it is a big set, which is quite annoying, but it does mean there's a lot of catch cards. Yeah. See you later, Camper of Death. What do I want to play with first? Well, now that we have some Ninetales, we can do some Ninetales stuff. Need to go for a bus. Okie dokie. I've also just pulled four Sigilyph, so we could try a meme deck. Strafe, 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 strafe. Yeah, we could try um, hit him on top strafe. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm very poorly. I'm trying to contain my coughs as much as possible. How many Elm have we got? Oh, we've got more than a playset. Sweet. Oh, I'll send them my way. I'll pick up your absolute dregs. Oh, I forgot there was a Typhlosion in the set. Had an absolute poggers weekend on go as well. I've got I've got myself a Mewtwo. Oh, nice. Die quietly, so sure. That is rude. Why have you guys seen the Hearthstone stuff? Yeah, we've both seen it. Pretty exciting. <gasps> Not as exciting as that, though, whatever it is. Oh my god. We've nailed so this. So many. We've nailed it. <laughs> Stroking his little head. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely think it one of the might that might be the only full art I like more than the half hour. That full art is just amazing. Yeah. As soon as Cheers, the price Parker, goes down. My dude. Need to get those. Thank you. Turns out, Joe, when you play a real deck. What is he playing Frankfurt again? Zora Weaval, Burnett. Oh, yeah. I just played a bad list, though. Mm. Yeah, full out, full out Fairy Nine Tails is amazing. What do you mean, that was just a real deck? It was a yeah, and he did well deck. with it. Won a cup with it. Ooh. When he plays a real deck, he does well. So I'll zero or replace it. That's our Celebi. Five copies. It's gonna be play set. 
five copies of Celebi. That's absolute garbage. We could play some Lapras tonight with some Sightseers in there. Ooh, oh, you, you could go full meme and go to Ganada. Full meme. One time. It's bad, but one time. Just for tonight. One time. One night only. That Whitney's a really nice. I did get that. A, yeah, I saw you pull that. Really like a Naga. It. Nice. Man, why do I always pull better online than IRL? It's so sad. Theoretically, early though is good. Yeah, I mean, overall, I get more use out of. It's just a shame that stuff, you, but... It's just a shame that the codes came from packs themselves. If you just bought codes and pulled like this, then it would have been great because then you have money to spend on singles. But you've opened 180 packs, got absolute crumb. And still have to buy stuff. That's three life forests as well. Oh, sorry, is my Facebook still open? My when's the bad. when's the um, unknown streams happening? Post, I feel like it's going to have to be after Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Doomsday! Thanks for the bits, buddy. Cheers, Doomsday. 140 bits, poggers, and 20 more to boot. <laughs> to boot. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> testing real decks might be more important. I realised but... we're really close to Brazil. <laughs> I need to do a lot of deck analysis and a top 10 and then get on that plane and figure out what to play. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a big yikes. Ooh, second Tina. Nectar. <coughs> Oh yeah, Mali's a complete pog now as well, isn't it? Giratina is genuinely one of my favourite Pokemon. Such a boss. So I don't know whether this was just me, like seeing really weird pack RNG because I was seeing like little drib dribs and drabs of various packs, but I felt like barely any. Um, Good lava tiles were pulled this weekend from the I watched like three boxes opened all together. <laughs> and it just felt like there was barely any good lava tiles. I didn't have a problem with those. Are they common or uncommon? They're common. Weird. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to give me a sec to root around my bolt. I mean everyone I've spoken to about it has said it's been completely fine, but it just felt like like I opened a box with Logan with one of the seniors. Yeah, they're common. I opened half a box of Laura, opened a box with Tamal, and then I watched Tamal open another half a box. Yeah. And I don't think I saw one. Damn. I mean, it's not particularly something you look out for, but at the same time, I would have thought I would at least notice one, because the card is bonkers. Oh, and I opened four, a fourth box as well, because I opened one with Scott and Serb. I opened more packs than anyone this weekend. <laughs> Right, I'm quickly going to look at what I still need, because it might genuinely be trading time. I need Blacephalons. I need one Naganadel. Oh, I didn't realise. I forgot I had a Lopped Sceptile. That's chill. I need a few more Dittos. So I literally just need... Uh, literally just need <laughs> Blacephalons. Locked Rainbow Singular. What a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see if I need anything. I'll keep going if I still need some trainers. There's no trainers that I need. Do we have every stadium? One, two, three, stadium. Yep. Fives. Yeah, it looks like we've got everything we need. Okay, let's, um... Head to the market. Let's trade for some, uh, Blacephalons. Ain't gonna be super expensive, right? Yep. Two lock naggers from the theme decks. Hey. Kirk's raiding. Hey, Kirk. And the friends. Welcome. <laughs> Tripping Shroomish. Thank you. Thank you. Downgrade the nine packs. Yeah, I can downgrade. It's fine. 16. So if I need to get four, 
16 is too many. I don't remember. No, no, you've got 15 one. Is you've fine, got one. Right? Yeah, yeah, you've got one. Yeah, so 15 is fine. As long as it's the only thing you need, then that's fine. It literally is everything I need. Sweet. Sack or scoop, how's it going? We in here. Okay, so I guess I'm doing for 15. I know it's overpriced, but it's literally all I need. <coughs> Thinking face emoji. Do I need more septiles? I guess I kind of do. Hmm. Oh, my alter Lego just said he traded with Cephalon for seven or eight packs. Uh, that, I don't want to rinse people of stuff, though. You may as well trade and just get more packs. Get it on the I, I do like the gesture, but honestly, I'll be fine. Alright, I'll just get these quickly. Like, if you don't get Sceptiles, the only thing you can't play is, like, Quad Sceptile. Yeah. Sceptile GX. I don't Stop. think I want to play Quad Sceptile for Brazil, so that's fine. I, I, I want to test Alolan Eggs more than I want to test straight Sceptile. Yeah, I agree. Two... Okay, Lava Ton, Naganado Shrine, Zoro Rock with Tex. It feels like, I don't know, it's probably weird, but everyone's first port of call, like in the first couple of weeks of testing, was the Zephalon and Malamar, sure. But now it feels like everyone's just gone back on the Zoro Rock train. Because they've remembered Ditto's a card that's absolutely busted, and Elm's a card, which is absolutely busted. Correct. So, like, it feels like for the first two weeks, or for the last two weeks up until this week, um, Bezephalon and Malamar were the talk of the town, but now it's just, okay, let's perfect Zora Rock because Zora Rock is good. All right, awesome. Let's, uh, let's build some stuff. Don't that is the heat. We also need to do a first to nine wins, Jack, post Brazil, I guess. Yeah, that'll be have to be post Brazil because I don't have any new cards or any money to get any new cards currently. Never gotten off the Zoro Rock train, that's fair. Did you hear about the um the pick a pack that Luke Williams was in? No. They basically got stuck in an infinite loop. How? Where, <laughs> where they So there was the girl the girl he was playing against had a spell tag. Right. And atta attacked for enough damage where the spell tag killed the attacker. So when like Luke Williams would always win by knocking out his opponent's Pokemon, but she'd knock him out with spell tag, and the judges can decide what the ruling was because they die at the same time. So they had they had to restart three times, and just until one of them prized one of their pieces. Fantastic! <laughs> it was a mess. There was a point where there was like 20 people around them. Danilo was like, "I love this format. I love this format." Tuh. It's so funny. All right, I need to quickly get two grand balls. Oh yes. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I want to see. I want to see big brain. Give me your big brain plays, Joe. I'm just building. Oh, that's not big brain enough for me. I want to see you enter the puzzle lab. <laughs> Okay. What should I build? Should I build some... I want to build something with nine tails, obviously. Do I want to go for a stage two, or do I want to go for, like, Buzz, or do I want to go for... Uh, see, Buzz seems like the best, but it's going to be what everyone's doing. Maybe some Desi? And recently, Decidueye Nine Tails did well. Sort of, ish. Next. As in, someone played it this weekend. So... You know where I'm sitting. That's where I'm sitting with Primarina. Oh my god, Primarina Nine Tails. Joe, I've done a thing. Did you play against any of the Situa Nine Tails this weekend? No, fortunately I oh. didn't. I managed to find one. Been rumbling with Desi Tails. Yeah, a lot of the French guys this weekend played it. Apparently it was the French guys that developed it along with Pedro. 
Um, and, and yeah, they decided to take out for a spin. I'm pretty sure two made top 32. Uh, two. Yeah. There's at least one or two. Right. I know I made a list for this, but I think seeing the French list, <laughs> I want to play a 2 0 2 line of swamp. Yes, you do. Uh, let me find my list quickly and see what I want to change. Give me that draw engine real quick. Uh, where is my deck list? Here it is. Alright. <clears throat> Either of you heard of the deck Rukan's Champion now, or is that the secret? All I know is it's not Malamar. I've not heard anything. He said he was, he said he was off the Malamar train. I don't know any more than that. What does Desi Tales do against Buzzrock? You have 240 health with a Decidueye, which is pretty hard to kill for a Buzzwall, and they never get a Rock Ruff down, because you do 70 damage with 9 tails plus a ping. So that's usually pretty good. And um, you have your GX attack. I was going to say, you also have your GX attack. And you can get, you can completely you choose to avoid B-String. You also have Super Boost. And that, that actually blows things up. <clears throat> This weekend, oh. there was a Swamp Hurt with a super boost that was genuinely probably the most threatening thing I saw all weekend. I think I just want to play one timer ball instead of two. Great balls, mate. Oops. Did the French play great balls? I can't remember what they played. Uh, so. The one I played against played great balls, but whether that was standard or not, I don't know. I think he played great balls. Makes, great more, makes more sense pre. Elm than it does post Elm, but still. Yeah. Oh, the cheeky one nest ball. Net. Sorry, net ball. That's gonna yeah, that's gonna I said that last night to Tamar and he was like, What are you on about? Why why play net nest ball in this deck? <clears throat> you bad when you play Raichu GX and again Adele. Mate, I got a win with Raichu GX this weekend. It's absolutely bonkers good. It's not. To be fair, since it lost Nuzzle Pikachu, Raichu Nagano was probably the best way you could build it because you cover your weakness. Except not to like it, not. Ah, crumb. Oh. Like it, tears your new one. Right, I'm actually going to go higher on Elm. I'm going to try and make this like a Zoro deck. So, what am I missing? Uh, did I put the candies in? Yeah. Oh, that's so sad you got locked for that, Cynthia. It's neither <laughs> here nor there. It's not a full playset, so it'd trigger you, but it's also not tradable. <clears throat> Do I just play more timables? That sounds weird. <laughs> more timables said no one ever. I want to play two Acerola. Acerola sounds really good. Let's try this. Gotta let the people know we're not playing games. Get some real sleeves up in here. What have you got? Nashville sleeves. Oh, 
Okay. Time the balls give me ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> That's vile. <coughs> That's actually going to be cough. Evo said it wouldn't work here, though, because we're doing it for the Ninetales proc. Yeah. <clears throat> Did I forget to put Lele's in here? I didn't, right? Hmm. We're going second, so I really want to... Um, I want to either draw Elm or a disposable card so I can Ultra Ball Lele Elm. Oh no, well only Elm for two targets. Doesn't even make sense. So we just Ultra Ball for a round boy and Cynthia. Okay. Blitzel. Hello. The new ladder is here. Nest ball for the ditto. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> I'm, never, I'm never killing the ditto just because I want to see what happens. Yeah. What have you decided to run in your ditto deck? He's attached to it. Why not? Let's go. You can blame him. What he's done there is make the correct play. Hmm. Not a bad hand. No, it isn't. In fact, that's actually a disgustingly good hand. Bog, bog, bog. Get the rainbow one showing we mean business. <coughs> <laughs> You're a bear. I'm so happy! This is amazing! <laughs> oh my god. What you gonna do? This is gonna be filthy. Judge. Please, don't you ever judge me. Tapu Coco, my guy. Hello. Oh, my God. Boys, it's popping off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Boys, it's popping off. You know what time it is? It's Alolan Nine Tails time. Re! <laughs> we could have got second Nine Tails out if we just got one heads. Come on. Uh. Oh, you guidance before. Okay. I was thinking about power drawing first. No, because now I'm drawing nine. Oh, yeah, because you can then... Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Bastard. <clears throat> See, that super boost. That's working next turn. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> that's an absolute embarrassment, Joe. Joe, I love it. I love this set. Holy! <laughs> you didn't ping! Oh, you monster. Oh, I forgot to ping. Yeah, I'm bad. Absolutely monster. I was monster. too excited. So was I. It's fine. I just saw the super boost. Look at There's me. a ditto there. That ditto's going to crumb you. Don't know how. Well, I can just ping it now. What if he evolves it? What if he evolves it? He didn't. Oh, wow. That's so sad. I want to see what was in his deck. There's a ditto. I'm excited. <coughs> Top four player poggers. Oh, look, he's looking at you now. He's ready for a fight. Joe, I might have found my Harrogate deck. Hmm. 
Oh my pockers. Snowy wind. What do I even need? Cards that can thin cards, I guess. Holy! <laughs> you know? <laughs> He's just dead. Electro oh, power. No. Electro power. Here we go. Oh crumb. Oh my god, nine tails is so broken. It's actually disgusting. Thank you, Tech Q. Has he missed energy? He uh, get a knockout, yeah, though. Oh, okay. This is fine. We can energy drive him, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Not with the stadium, actually. I still promote the Lele, though. We have choice man to draw, and we have stadium that we could draw, and we also have... Um, what I say? Choice man stadium... Yeah, that's it, right? Do I power draw before the elm? I guess I do. Should have gone. Should have done the swamper and gone for the super boost. Should have just gone for it, should I? It's the worst that could happen. Oh, I forgot elms to hand. Oh, okay. This is stupid. I'm so dumb. Is this even right? He's just gonna ace a rotor, right? We'll do it this way, so we're not fully committed. But we can still double ping to finish if he doesn't. Oh, sorry, triple ping if we draw. <laughs> You can still triple ping, easy. Joe, this is absurd. Didn't have KO. Stadium. I've made so many errors already. <laughs> I'm just too excited. Look at this board. So happy just to play Decidueye again. To be fair, this is a very exciting board. Hellbringer6019, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, he's got the Coco. Interesting deck. What do you mean? We've profiled this. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm glad it's nice to see people actually playing it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have the heal. Get him! Attack him! Kill him now. Uh two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. <coughs> Not enough. Do I elm to draw three cards before the swamper? I guess I do. I think so. You don't want to draw any of them, right? Two cards, I mean. Whoops. That could have been an R Elm last turn. Nectar. This one. Choice band or super boost. Right, I'm streaming again, by the way. Have you found her? Ugh, oh, cat's missing. Choice band or super boost. Or both. Or both. Yeah, now I need to decide what's best. How about both? 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Gets rid of all the energy. It's 
So 8, 16, 17, 18, 19. So one ping goes here. The real shame is that we couldn't win this turn. Guess we'll have to win next turn. Fine. Oh, super boost hydro pump. Blech. Joe's decks I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's all we've learned straight away, that it is absolutely mm. nutty from the offset. I missed out on that game as well. You know when we played a lot of Decidueye Ninetales last year? Yeah. Like too much, some would say. Mm, potentially. Do you want to do that again? Yes, lots. All the time. Every day for the rest of our lives. I've played exactly one game and I know that I'm playing it forever. Including Brazil. Including. Up to and including. Up to and definitely including. Oh, yes. There's the chap. That's our third decision, right? What more do you need? Oh, wait, nothing. That's right, nothing. This is so exciting, I want to actually build this now. IRL. Oh, I just remembered that Nine Tails are going to be costing an arm and a leg, aren't they? Thing you have a Weavile in your Zoro list. Yeah, bring it on. I'll just ping it down. Ping ping. Ping ping. Fet, uh, snowy wind. Easy clap. See you later. I don't mind. There's a $20 at the moment. Yeah. Stroke is Ed, though. I may I want to stroke it, little lad. I think a Lolan Volpix and Lolan Nine Tails might be two of my favourite designed cards. That uh, Pokemon. Could I play two Water, one Fairy instead? I think the Fairy one's just so ridiculous that we have to play two of that one. The Water one's in here for Bicephalon, basically. So we have our Swampert turn and our Fairy, oh sorry, and our Water Nine Tails one. The only thing you've done so far in Lost Thunder, Devout Field plus Ram Donk on a hop in. The old Ram Donk. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. An old Ram for knockout. There was a game this weekend where my opponent decided to gizmo around things and not kill uh, Zerua with a DCE to the point where he did 180 damage via Ram. <laughs> How is that even possible? It wasn't a threat. Wasn't a threat. I couldn't find Zoroark, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll ram again then. Oh, look how amazing that hand could have been. Holy. Next thing I know, Lele's dead. Oh, that is a. Uh. Oh, this hand is much worse. Oh, crap. But we have Ultra Ball Lele Elm. <laughs> this hand is great. Grobin, you have no power here. <laughs> 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 you have no power here. This is going to be an absolute see you later, mate. Okay. Yeah, this is the first testing of the day, Fuzz. How insane is this? Oops. 
I think I do it this way around. It's a little bit greedy to go the other way around. But if Vulpix survives, it's insane. But I'm just not going to risk it. This is why I also play like the Brooklyn Hills and the Bullsa and the Net Bull because the Elm is like you want to just get even more every time. So Mudkip is a cute boy. Yes, this deck is literally full of my favorite Pokemon. This is amazing. They're all so fun, so happy, go lucky. Why no ditto? Uh, because you can't evolve the stage twos. Another deck bang Aether yeah. Paradise, my goodness. Maybe it's an all non-GX build. Still has no power here, but... Maybe Vika Bulu instead. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, the, the Vulpix lives. <coughs> do we flip this first? I think we do, right? Yeah. It's Guardy back. I'm not sold, personally. But it's probably in the best place it's been since it lost. Um, Bridget, Octillery, and Gallade. Da, da, na, 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 Look at this. Are you going double, double fairy tales? We must go deeper. That is an absolute fairy tale, Joe. Embarrassing. Okay. Um, forget what I said. It's fine. Get a nest. Oh no, it's a net ball. <laughs> Genuine anger at that. Get a net ball, the ultra ball. Yeah, he's seen the line. He's absolutely. He, he's he's spotted the line. <clears throat> Whoa, you're powdering now. Interesting. So I can have the free Ultra Ball if I miss, but I didn't miss. I was thinking go Ultra Ball anyway into Cynthia into Power Draw. But if I, if I uh, Power Draw first, I have guarantee I have like better discards. So I could use the net ball for draw uh, for energy this turn. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair enough. What's your energy split? I know it's wild. Four DCE, one grass, three fairy, and a super boost. boost. Oh, Joe, I love this deck. It's my already... I, I was thinking in the wake home yesterday. Malamar sounds cool. Blacephalon sounds cool. You know, but this. But this. This, exactly. this is everything. But this is this absolutely is, everything. Is exactly all you need to know about this deck. You know, I said I was quitting. <laughs> I'm not. I'm back. Just to play this. Weavile be beats all decks. Weavile isn't getting a look in when it's dead. It's absolutely detonated. Oh, it's a hollow hunt turn. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We have a mark to return in two oh, weeks. Dearie me. We Good evening, there's a new set. Oh, he ace around at the Groven. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. Mum get the camera. Right, 
I'm so happy that this is the first deck I chose to build. This deck is bonkers. This deck is actually absurd. See, join Nine Tail Swamper. Oh my god. It all makes sense now, Joe. My life is complete. Correct. What even is that setup? I know, man. This is ridiculous. This is like turn four as well. They should just get see. This is turn four when we hit double tails on a timer board as well. That's what's ridiculous. This is an unlucky setup. Hello? How is that possible? Right, so you're bringing this this weekend then? Yeah. Just have to proxy those nine tails. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, we want to try and find Guzma. I can deal with double grubbing and just be chilling. That's the only slight gripe about this deck. It is tight as anything, so it's really rough for us to fit more than two Guzma. Only have to proxy one. Yeah, that's true. I think my internet's dying, Joe, so I'm going to head off. No! Because um, I want an early night. But I'm go definitely going to watch the other hour of this tomorrow, because this is absolute pog championship. It really is. I'm I'm so excited. I'm, I'm literally sitting here with the biggest grin <laughs> on my face. Same. Dead that. I'm starting to think you don't even need counter game because you're just always ahead with I'm this. I'm never deck. behind. This, That's the problem. With this setup. That's the biggest problem with this list. <laughs> it's too good. Too ahead all the time. This is absurd. Actually absurd. I'm, I'm building this IRL. I I just have to. I have to be back in Decidueye Nine Tails zone. Oh, should we fit Magnazone in here as well? <laughs> to join nine tails. <laughs> oh, stroke is little Ed. Yeah. Stroke is little Ed. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. Don't forget what my shirt is saying. Don't get cocky. Yeah. I mean, this is just fun, right? This is just so ridiculously fun. This is the French cool deck from uh, Lille this weekend, but super consistent now. Like, what? How's that allowed? Who let that happen? Right, yeah. I'm going to head off, but... I'll hopefully about, be about on Wednesday if I'm feeling a bit better. Um, I'll let you know if I'm still feeling absolute garbage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cheers for joining us, everyone. And enjoy Joe being happy at this game. Because, yes. honestly, how can you be anything else with this board? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, I'll chat to you tomorrow, mate. See ya. Bye. Oh, I didn't hit the Rowlicks of the stadium. I got super confused. What's my burn here? So many hit points to deal with.
I guess I should play some cards out of my hand. The weakest energy drive. Missing out on stadium. How many fairy tales am I running? Yeah, two fairy tales, one water. Water, sort of the tech for Bacephalon. I want to set up the nine tails that so gets us more snipes. I think the four DCE balance might be a little bit wrong. Maybe I should go to three and play an extra grass. It's hard to tell when you're so ahead though <laughs> of what to improve. Yeah, I, I mean, we are playing 9 energy. We'll obviously never pay Retreat with Super Boost, though. So we have 8 ways to retreat into a beacon anyway. I don't think we have space for um, escape boards. I would just play more physical energy cards. Not used to the low counts of things. I mean, yeah, there are some important one-offs in here that will be a little bit scary to whiff on but I mean just what we're physically being able to achieve with this deck is just silly so I think you just accept that there we go That's ridiculous. This deck looks really good. I mean, the first two games have been absolutely astonishingly powerful. I think Fort Elm is definitely the right call. Just because it's literally all you care about and then Empoleon comes on and then you're doing everything you want everywhere, uh, anyway. The brooklets sound good as well. Like, you're happy to see them even if you have Elm in hand, because you'll always want an extra Mudkip or Vulpix down. Seems pretty silly. I mean, it's obviously super early, and Weavile's going to be a problem. And there's going to be a lot of things that can pressure us a lot faster than the things we faced in the first two games, but the signs are here that it's an insane deck. This game we don't have the benefit of beacon, so it's just going to be Elm Net Ball, and then Alolan Ninetales might have to get us like Ultra Ball for a Lele next turn. But that's the flexibility, that's why this card's so ridiculous. <coughs> we keep leading Mudkip, which is annoying as well. Ah, we're up against a uh, Granbull deck. Okay, so I just drew into a Vulpix. We can get a thing out, so we'll just go like this. Completely fill our... No, we don't want to completely fill our board because... Uh, we want to... So one, two, three... Maybe I don't even get a Vulpix. Maybe I just go three Rowlets. No, 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 we still want two Vulpix, because one of our Ninetales will have to get Ultra Ball for Lele. Ultra Ball. 
Okay. Good thing is, uh, Mudkip won't be threatened on turn one by anything. Where do I attach though, is the question. I think it's still active, you know. We could just Hydro Pump for the 80 flat and use pings on top. So I won't play the net ball. Uh, I'll probably use it for the Ultra Ball fodder next turn off the Fairy Ninetales. Yeah. Okay. I'll be interested to see how this Gramble list uh, handles us. Obviously another cool deck that I want to try. That sound like I'm ill? Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little better. Still coughing and sniffing a lot. I hope I'm better by uh, the time Brazil comes around. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, when you get two heads, it's just ridiculous. So unfortunately we prized our fairy nine tails, so we can only get one out, otherwise I would go double nine tails here. God. Okay, I mean double heads is the super high roll, right? Twice, but we did prize one alone in nine tails to be fair, so Like if we could double nine tails we would have timer balled got Swampert second nine tails that nine tails gets us candy other timer ball to get the deci uh, Deciduize out anyway and we still have the Ultra Ball Lele for supporter and power draw after that, so I feel like it kind of cancels out the time that we got two timer ball heads, kind of cancels out. Should have been on Snubble? I don't think so. Because if he's able to all out us this turn, hit us for 160, like what do we do anyway? I feel like I'm going to try and like Hollow Hunt or um, <coughs> do something else so the extra pings don't hurt. Like, don't work. Probably just energy drive. And that would only put him to 120. This way we can deal with the cargo engine and hurt him actually getting done. Get a complete kill. No, I can't. We do one ping here. It'll be a 110. We can go down to... 
90, 70, and just do 60 with energy drive, or 50 with Vulpix. Oh, interesting. He could have had it anyway without... Oh, no, he had to use the Lost Mixer, right, of course. So it goes for the all out. So if you 20 the turn before, you'd be left with 10. I just did the maths in front of you. Got Grand Bull does 160. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, is it more important for us to just try and get another round boy down? I think it is. Count gain to the rescue. We can't really risk it when we don't have access to the other Nine Tails. Or a good Nine Tails, I guess I should say. Choice plan doesn't feel that helpful. We are in a bit of a spot of bother now. Pedro, thank you so much for the host, my dude. Since when does Joe use full arts on PTCGO? I've only just pulled these guys. I'll downgrade I'll downgrade them later. The Buzz Gang, oh yes. The Zora Gang is now the Buzz Gang. This deck is a lot of fun. Does this beat Sneko? It probably does, because of the amount of pings we have on our end with Decidueye and with the heals. So unironically, it probably does. <laughs> So thanks to Shrine, we can ace a run of this. Oh, why did I put the thing here? Why did I put the tool here? Oh, the tool was so irrelevant as well. Oh, that's so annoying. How do you beat a rolling Malamar? Rolling Malamar, I don't really know what that means. So maybe I would just go for a Hollow Hunt. Oh, but our Netball's in the discard as well, so I can't even search that for the Grass Energy. Kill this, hope to get our fairy one out of prizes, is the dream. Let's start by killing this and see what we get. Oh, it is the fairy tales. So I can get another... Candy Desi. He can't carry the active. So I think we're just trying to develop this turn. It might genuinely be Candy Candy here, so I can put down Mudkip this turn. Oh no, because I'm Ace Rollering this anyway. So this actually doesn't make a huge difference. I don't want to reveal the counter gain, really. Uh, if I uh, evolve into the other Nine Tails instead when I Ace Rollering this next turn, um, it means that. Okay, I want to do this. No, I want to do this. Ah, it's so weird. We'll do this. The counter gain's only good if we can draw into a fair energy.
Okay. So the real difference between this game and the last few is that I let Swampert die. The early pressure of Hydro Pump was nice, but it has hurt us in the long run. Because energies are the hardest thing to come by. Yandy7, thank you so much for the sub. That is awesome. Enjoy your little Jimmy emote, my dude. Okay, so he's going to go all out. So we can redevelop our stuff this turn. It's going to be big. I don't think there's any item we want. I need to play one copy of Switch in this deck. I think we're still in touching distance, to be fair. Have I shown the list? Uh, no, not yet. Definitely can, though. Not a problem. He definitely needs to get more snubbles down. This deck does play a lot of stretch. Yeah, there we go, straight away. A lot of stretches. Oh, he's going to get a slug. Okay. Ice Path seems good for this matchup, yeah. I'm leaving this open to potentially be that boy. But at the same time, I could do this, get a counter gain and use the 70-30, which is just more raw damage anyway. So he's made a pretty big error, I think. Because we can gust this, kill this, and he can't attack us, and then we can just sweep the board next time. So I think we're actually chill now. So first we kill this. Did I mess up? Oh no. Okay, let's just hope this hand is too big to downplay, right? Oh, I can't believe I let him promote that. I should have done this first. Okay, we'll try and maximize our... Uh, quote unquote damage.
Had to give him a first. Yeah, I think I did. This may still be rough for him to reduce his hand size. I don't know. I feel like I've thrown, though. That was me being stupid. We definitely could have had this game secured. This deck's hard to play, man. There's so many new thing, new interactions that I need to think of the whole time. Against another new deck with all new interactions as well. Uh, looks like he's probably got us with Ultra Ball and other stuff. Ultra Ball away the cards that he can't insta play and then just uh, blow as an insta play anyway, so he can definitely do it. If he's getting rid of Blower, you know he's already got it. That's my bad. Ah, uh, that was so free as well. As long as I don't do exactly what I did, we definitely win. Oops. That's not the that's not the deck's fault though. Just a classic Joe play. I was trying to see all my cards. <laughs> Just trying to see more cards the whole time. Todd, how's it going, dude? Yeah, I uh, should have Ace as well. Just all sorts of not great. This hand is ridiculous. Another Grubbin deck. Torch showing up now that the format's good. How insane is this hand? Holy. Can even pay retreat beacon if we want to. And look how insane that beacon is. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> Jay's fine, how's it going? What's good? This deck's pretty good. Broken deck, indeed. Oh man, hitting for weakness. Hitting us where it hurts, huh? Oh, account's getting prized. That's really annoying. Oh, no, it's not. It's there. Sweet.
This is a risky Vulpix. We hugely benefit by being able to uh, Ace Rider into a new Ninetales. It is risky though. Re. Let's be boring. So we need to put this to nine. So we get a free ping here. All skilled bully players have that. True mad captain, true. That's why we played safer. This is where he could cooey in GXs. Okay. <coughs> Unfortunately, now he can GX and heal. Whipping the DC kind of sucks. What can you do? Man, the wombo combo feels so much less good when your uh, mudkips die. Mudkip carries the deck, keeps it all together. These cheeky energy counts get found out so easily when you don't have the extra draws. How many tails this playing? Two fairy, one water. Oh, he attached lightning to the bench. Oh, he doesn't have another grass energy. Bailed out. Holy. Japanese list did play a 101 line. I'm playing 202. Stuff of nightmares, exactly. Okay. Nailed the DC this time. Jake P4, thank you so much for the follow. I didn't see that you attached energy to it. I'm so stupid. Sorry, I only did that ping because I thought he would have fully charged up the bench like a normal person.
I want a thinner card. Potentially Hollow Hunt next turn. Wasted two damage, lol. What was he doing attaching to the thing? What's the Desi line? 414. I'll show the list after this game. So sad that we hit the double tails. It's actually savage. One of the vids going on YouTube. Um, the openings, I guess, will go on overnight, and then these battles will go on the day after. Or maybe in the morning. Well, we know he doesn't have Guzma, otherwise he would have attached to the bench and just killed us. Stream confirmed for the LAIC and commentators. Let me check. Mad Captain, where's the uh, where's the post about it? Oh, so I can uh, tell you guys that I'm uh, commentating. Yeah. Great news. So yeah, that's a thing that happened. Yeah, beetle. Don't want to attack with the Swampert, it's so risky. I 
I guess I have to for damage though. When you ace her at a one stage two and still have enough for super boost, huh? Let's see me and Nick commentating together. Sean, thank you for the bits. Congratulating me on commentary. Yeah, it's pretty chill. VG team stacked as well. Got him. Get to wear my doggo costume. I mean, it's gonna be hot in Brazil, man. It's gonna be hard to wear a suit for that long. I'm gonna look like Lee Evans. Right, I think I'll have one more game with this uh, with this deck, and I'll then be going to bed because I'm still ill. Let's see if we can get another win with this deck. The only loss was my own fault, and that's a good sign for the deck, right? It's still super early though. I haven't been judged or marshadowed yet, and it feels like this deck doesn't want to see that. Can't be stopped by unfortunate accidents, no. I hope I don't still have my cold though. That would really suck. Yeah, Nick did a good job last year of commentating. He fell apart in his chair when uh, the guy hit the lichen rock off his own end. Yeah, don't worry, I'll show the list before I go. I shall indeed. Oh, it's another, uh, another Granbull deck. Is this the better snubble? I picked out all the snubbles from this set earlier today. I don't know if it's better or not. Let me check out my snubbles IRL while I have a chance. The other one does discard two trainers from your hand, does 20 more for each you discarded. And this does 20 plus 10 on a coin flip. Oh no, 10 to itself. You never want to do 10 to yourself, so I guess the other one actually is better. There are times when you want to discard items from your hand just to lower it for potential next turn, but they both have 70, so it's kind of similar. Oh, two retreat versus one retreat. That's a big deal. Good shout there. Uh, so we don't need the choice ban this game, and Guzma is kind of a luxury. I always want to Lele for 
um, Elm, I think. Especially when we have Cynthia in hand straight away. Alrighty. What multiplayer games can you smash me on before you get Smash itself? Uh, Mario Kart's the best, or like my favorite game to play multiplayer on. I'm pretty good at uh, Mario Kart though. That was my min misment youth. At Smash Bros, I'm terrible. I'll happily accept that anyone can beat me at that, but. I was Mary Carting from a young age. I don't have Mario Party, but I'll be happy to play it. Stacked turn one. Oh, has so he got the, the all out? Ultra Ball for Snubble. Oh, treasure. <laughs> all out. Oh, gross. I guess this is the alternate reality where we just do nothing. The one game we haven't popped off so far. No Ninetales, no Destruction. I break my D-pad shaking on Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS was the one I played the most. For sure. Don't know about breaking the D-pad though. Not hardcore enough. Man, these Gramble players. I guess everyone's playing Gramble because they're just easy enough to pick up. Does it fall to Mali because of Chimeco? I uh, guess. It's Gramble going all the way, man.
I do get the KO. <laughs> Don't worry. See you later, Sean. Thanks for all the bits and for chiming in here and there. Why do I play the water one? Uh, the water one's got an, that annoying GX attack to try and play around for the opponent. And it's also... Um, Really good for Blacephalon. And there's a DC attacker, and this deck is pretty cheeky on energy. So just having something that can attack for a DCE. Like, we've been attacking with Lele's a lot with this deck, just because of how our energy count is. Why not power draw first? I was using the Fairy Tales first uh, to give us the highest odds to hit any energy, so I could attack with this one and not have to waste my super boost. If I power draw before using the fairy tales, I have less chance of drawing any energy, and then I have to waste super boost. You just realized fairy tales can bop a clown. Yeah, so it bops one clown with the GX attack, then it can bop another one with fairy plus Decidueye, and you can bop one with super boost swamp as well. <coughs> so this is where we're at with it at the moment. Uh, just before I go, the energy count's probably the most skeptical thing about the deck. But I really like how it's feel, uh, felt so far. Potentially, I could even cut the lilies, you know. I could cut the lilies just for more timables to get more nine tails out. Yeah, yeah, Fairy Tales Sublimation GX deals with it. But that's only one, right? So you still need to play one of these, I think. I think Swampert is better than Zoroark. Uh, in this deck, it is, I think. Because you have the Super Boost Synergy. For one thing. And you don't have the space for more Zoroarks, really. So I think you've got to go all in. So yeah, just two Fairy, one Water. Four DCE, so we are trying to swing with Lele's and this guy quite a bit. Potentially the balance is off. Potentially I could try three of each. And start attacking with Fairy Tales a lot more. I don't mind that. Um, maybe I drop one Lily just to play an extra energy, because that's the only thing we're ever sort of looking for. It even improves our turn one odds of uh, Beacon. So maybe just this. Would a Tate and Liza work instead? The list I had online actually had a Tate and Liza. So yeah, definitely worth considering. Currently no Lavatar, but I can definitely, again, it was in the list I put online. We haven't come up against any Zoras yet, so I guess time will tell. But I imagine that Hollow Hunting Ace Rollers is a good thing to do. What I think about Sceptile dot deck feels consistent, but don't know if that's good enough. I think the Alone and Executor is probably the most likely deck that's going to work, just because regular Sceptile um, is a little weak to some of the Ohiko decks, of which there are many. So, yeah, that'll be it for some Decidueye Ninetales um, testing. That felt really good, to be fair. Our one loss so far was my own mistake. Otherwise we win. I mean, fair enough. We were facing Grambles and we weren't getting hit with Judge and we weren't getting hit with Marshadow or Weavile or Bell of Silence. But in a vacuum, this deck looks hella fun and there's definitely power behind it. So it's cool to see Decidueye come back in some capacity. Definitely a fun deck to carry out with. Uh, we got our uh, we got our Blacephalons. Yeah, of course. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching all the openings and stuff today, guys. And... Uh, we got started with a pretty poggers deck, so that's pretty cool. I'll be uh, jumping into deck analysis videos uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Um, 
like I, s I keep mentioning Alone and Eggs, it'll be one of the first ones I uh, profile. Um, some, of the th some of the lists that I've already profiled on the channel without deck analysis, there'll probably be ones I test on stream, and then I'll just be doing the other decks first. So there's like the spread Coco deck I want to try. There's um, there's like Naganadel other stuff. There's Alone and Eggs. There's the Lavatar Coco. There's the um, other Mag Cargo builds, like Buzz Cargo, Buzz, um, Buzz Nine Tails as well. Um, so there's a lot of decks out there to still try. Some other Turbo decks that I've tried to make work. Gramble I haven't profiled yet, so that'll be a fun one to test online. Um, but yeah. I'm going to be hopefully streaming more as well. If I feel up to it, I'll stream again tomorrow night. I read it. I just need to test for Lost Under. Obviously, you know that I'm commentating and not playing now, so there's less stress in that regard, but I need to see how matchups go. So I need to get like a broader idea of how the game works rather than have to focus on one, like the play. I need to know how decks interact against each other in general. So it's a different type of testing that I'm going to be doing, but it's good for you because it means you'll be seeing variety. So I think it's a win-win. So yeah, thanks so much, guys, once again. And uh, we'll see uh, see you tomorrow for a deck and potentially even for a stream. So cheers and uh, yeah.